And I'll be going through the past, the present challenge, and outcome. So Taurus, in the recent past, we have the Eight of Wands. Now, when it comes to love and relationship, and the Eight appears, you're probably, or you were probably, feeling ready for a commitment that didn't seem to be forthcoming. Again, you must not push someone before they're ready. You would not be able to get your needs met by force. So you needed to distract yourself if necessary and your lover or your romantic interests, they would have been back to you before you knew it, offering you the love you've been hoping for on a silver platter and it's paired with a moon card. Now, this card, it points to a highly emotional time in love relationship. Things can become quickly overheated and or uncomfortable. Take a break if you need to do that or if you needed to do that in the past. Don't make assumptions and fight fairly. That is, if you were going to fight. You needed to pick your battles and be sure to treat your lover like a friend. Um, then at that time, it would not have been a good idea to hurry to end the relationship or to begin a relationship. This was probably not the best time for either course of action. Okay, so that's a recent past. Let's move on to the present. We have the death card. Now the death card, it does not necessarily or even usually indicate physical death. Uh, but it is considered irresponsible for readers to predict physical death. Because we all know we're creatures with free will. And such things are not written in stone. Uh, once again, such things are not written in stone, and we're all creatures with free will. Now, this card can sim simply indicate transformation and change. Uh, <clears throat> it is definitely a time for deep transformation, likely to be both internally and externally in your life at this time. Situations, things and people that you counted on or that you've, that you've gotten used to, they're probably no longer there in quite the same way they once were. Uh, keep in mind this transition can be difficult for some people. The change um, is nearly always needed. The change is usually something that's needed in a person's life. And it's paired with the Ten of Wands. Now, with the Ten of Wands, you could feel like you're carrying a heavy burden, as you can see by the picture on the card. You may want to look hard at this and see if there are any ways that you might lighten your load, either literally or figuratively. If you look carefully, you might find that part of the burden that you're carrying emotionally, it actually belongs to someone else. So give it back. It's going to be important for you to pace yourself now. Don't try to take on too much. And with these two cards paired together, uh, the death card is about deep transformation. People you counted on, they're probably no longer there in the same way that they used to be. That's an example uh, of the death card. Deep transformation. And you may have a dif difficult time with this because it's paired with the Ten of Wands, it probably will feel like a heavy, uh, it probably will feel heavy on your mind. And it'll make it feel like it's, a, it's weighing you down uh, because of this deep transformation and change. But just remember to pace yourself. Okay, don't try to take on too much at this time. And just also keep in mind that the change that you're experiencing is needed. It's needed, usually needed for growth and development. 
it's usually needed for uh, bringing better things, uh, uh, things that are uh, better for you, things that you really need into your life. That's usually why the change is needed. And that's the present. Now let's move on to the challenge. We have the Eight of Swords. Now, you possibly could be holding yourself back because you fear moving into the future or because you're weary, you're wary, you're afraid of getting hurt by a new situation or maybe for no reason at all. Think through what it is that you're afraid of because in actuality, the truth of the situations are probably much less frightening than your mind is making it out to be. Now, the Eight of Swords is paired with the Three of Cups. Now, uh, this card is considered to be a card of reunions. But it's not always a romantic union. Not always, but it can be. It's reunion in the broadest sense is like running back into or meeting up with someone or something that you have been away from for some time. Now it could be romantic, it could be friendship. Okay, it could go either way. It's generally considered to be a happy reunion. Um, because this is an upbeat card, as you can see. A very happy occasion, happy reunion, a happy return from the past, a long lost love. It can also mean celebration. Your own or someone that you care about, such as celebrating a new baby, a wedding, or a happy occasion. Okay, with these two cards paired together, the Eight of Swords, you're holding yourself back because you fear moving into the future or you're afraid of getting hurt. Okay, it's paired with the Three of Cups. Release those fears, okay? Uh, you have a reunion coming up. Like I said, it could be with a long lost love, a family member, uh, someone from the past that you miss, and it's gonna be a happy reunion, something that, that's gonna, um, uh, it's going to make you real happy. Uh, you're going to enjoy it for many years to come, whether it's just uh, remembering the reunion or it carrying with you throughout the rest of your life. Okay, so those fears of moving into the future, um, it could be possibly because um, the reunion you're a little bit worried about how it's going to turn out, but it's turning out great. You have nothing to fear about. Release those fears because the Three of Cups is, is everything. It's awesome, and it's going to be a great experience for you. Okay, so that's going to be the challenge. Now, we move on to the outcome. We have the Eight of Cups. Now, this often means that you will choose to leave a situation that is no longer working for you. Whether that's a relationship, a job, a neighborhood, there may be some sadness involved, but overall, the separation is for your best interest. Just know that renewed good times lie ahead for you. If your gut is telling you that you really need to get out of a relationship or a living arrangement, or something of that type, trust yourself. Instead of this coming out of the blue or someone or something leaving you, it usually means that you are the one who will make this choice. You'll be the one doing the leaving or moving on. Okay, they, it's not going to, it won't be them leaving you, you'll be the one leaving. Okay, and it could be, like I said, uh, a living arrangement. It uh, could be anything. It could be leaving a neighborhood. It doesn't have to be a person. Okay, uh, just keep in mind very often one door has to close behind you before the next door in front of you can truly fully open. And that's with the Eight of Cups. 
okay? And then it's paired with the King of Cups. Now, this speaks of a balanced man, a balanced male figure. Um, and it also speaks of feminine energy. Now, this card holds all the positive qualities of masculine and femi feminine. So this could be uh, you, a female, and a masculine ma man coming towards you or that's in your life. Okay, so it could go either way, but it speaks of both masculine male and feminine energy. Okay, often this card indicates a literal man in your life. Usually when... Um, Usually, if we're speaking about a man in your life, a live person, a male figure, um, this man is a very loving man. He's very kind. He'll usually have hair on the lighter end of the spectrum, but it could go either way. Just know that you are supported by the universe in many ways seen and unseen with this person. Okay, now keep in mind, the King of Cups, uh, it does represent kindness and compassion. And that's what this person is, this man is all about. Okay, there is an element of pure and true love in your life, no matter what your situation is when this card appears. So nurture yourself at this time and allow others to nurture you when you receive this card in a reading. Okay, and so with these two cards paired together, the Eight of Cups, you're gonna choose to leave a situation that's no longer working for you. Could be a friendship, a job, a neighborhood, a relationship. It could be a number of things. Okay, it's just no longer working for you. It could be the school that you go to, all right? And it'll bring about a little bit, a little bit of sadness because of the separation. But just know it's at your, it's for your best interest, okay? And being that it's paired with the King of Cups, there's somebody who really, really loves you, and they're very kind. Um, their their love for you is pure, and it's true love, and it's a man. Um, okay. I don't know if he's going to support you through your, um, through your Eight of Cups uh, leaving a situation, if he's going to be there for you, or he's someone coming towards you. But uh, this man, yeah, the King of Cups, uh, sounds like someone that um, everyone should have in their life. Um, whoever he is, I don't know if he's your father, your brother, but they, they support you and they love you a lot. They're either coming towards you. This man is either coming towards you or, like I said, he, or he's someone that's already in your life. Okay, but uh, they're going to be a part of your, your um, change. Okay, your mood. They're going to be a part of the situation you're no longer... Um, a situation that's no longer working for you and you're going to choose to leave it this man is going to be a part of that okay and that's going to be the outcome so Taurus I hope this resonates as you know general readings they do not always resonate with everyone then again if you like this reading please like subscribe leave a comment if that's what you care to do I thank you so very much for watching and have a great day